we said at First Liberty that uh, the uh, Kennedy case to relig religious liberty is kind of like the Dobbs case was to the pro-life movement, right? It was a fundamental shift that is very much in favor for us. And so our founder, Kelly Shackelford, said, okay, can, uh, lemon test has been used about literally 6,000 times over 50 years to prohibit public displays of religion. What if we started going back and going on offense and saying, no, let's push back and let's start putting these things back up, whether it was the Ten Commandments on schoolhouse walls, whether it was Ten Commandments monuments outside government buildings, prayer out of certain, uh, whether commissioner's courts, school boards, things like that. And so, um, you know, so many times it seems like we're playing defense and we're reacting to things, but why not go on offense and why not assert our rights, especially with this opportunity that we've been given that we have not had in half a century. And so uh, if you go to RFIA.org, which stands for Restoring Faith in America, Dot org, you'll see all the ways that First Liberty is trying to get that back in. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was down in Louisiana testifying in the Senate Education Committee on their bill to put Ten Commandments back up in the schoolhouse uh, schoolhouses. That bill is now sitting on the governor's desk just waiting to be signed, and that's going to be the first state, and I, I would think by no means the last uh, to do that. Representative Drazio, I know um, <clears throat> we tried that in Texas, uh, just fell a little short on the timetable, got it through the Senate, did not get it through the House, but I think we're going to there and multiple other states I think are going to follow suit. Uh, just uh, earlier this week I was in Ohio at another education committee on release time programs where they're trying to go from a may to a shell to ensure that Ohio school districts have to adopt a policy for religious instruction time called release time programs off-site not paid for uh, by school dollars but where you can get religious instruction during the day. Uh, we're helping several jurisdictions start planning to put Ten Commandments monuments back on whether it's state grounds, county grounds, uh, city grounds, whatever that is. And so we think it's a unique opportunity, and we'd love to come alongside each and every one of you in your states if you have something that you want to do, whether in, at the state level or in your districts at the county level or city level, to restore faith in America. We haven't had this opportunity, like I said, since the 1970s. We want to use it to its fullest advantage while we have that opportunity, and First Liberty be honored to come alongside you and do it. Uh, I'm also a speaker with a group called Wall Builders. Uh, David Barton, Tim Barton, and so uh, we've been kind of doing a road show for these Ten Commandments bills uh, at the committee hearings. We'll all three come in. I'll do the legal aspect of why you can do this now, put up the Ten Commandments. Uh, Tim Barton will come in and give the moral case for why we should have the Ten Commandments up, and then David Barton will come and do the historical uh, analysis of why we traditionally had the Ten Commandments, uh, where we've seen that in our society. So that really hits the history and tradition test well. There's really nothing with more history or tradition in America than the Ten Commandments. And so that's the one we're pretty, we're pretty positive the Supreme Court will validate uh, should it be tried and challenged at, uh, in, in court, which it will, but we're pretty uh, certain that it will withstand constitutional scrutiny. So if you want to do that in your state, just let us know. We're happy to come. Take the roadshow to wherever you are, um, and uh, any other issue, especially with restoring faith in America, we'd be honored to, to come alongside you and help you do that and take advantage of this opportunity.